so nice to have the day off yesterday. It put a smile on my face. But what did it cost? Noblesville's first strike. Everything. Have you dreamed of seeing the Parthenon or the site of the first Olympics? There will be a brief call-up meeting for students interested in traveling to Greece. Greece is a place where you really get to experience the culture, like the food and the art. Greece so far has been like, like every single part of it looks like it's from a painting. I see a very distinct change in a lot of kids from day one till the last day. The main thing that changes is their self-confidence. They become many times more open because they you know, become friends with people that they've never even talked to in school. That happens quite a lot, actually. They get bitten by the travel bug, a lot of them do and they, they'll then continue traveling in their lives. At the end of the trip, I've, got, I've many times had kids crying because they don't want to go home. They just love it so much. They'll be going to Greece Spring Break 2021. The meeting will be in AL on Tuesday, November 26 at 2.30. See Mrs. Gilbert in room 2210 or Mr. Abel in room 2202 for a pass. The Sociology Club would like to share this important message with you about the upcoming toy drive. Hello from the Sociology Club officers. As we enter this holiday season, the Sociology Club, partnered with the Noblesville Fire Department, uh, will be hosting a toy drive like we did last year. Uh, we will be accepting new toys only for the ages of 1 through 17, and this will be the only toys these kids will be getting this holiday season. If you donate to this cause, you may be eligible to receive community service hours for the, the National Honor Society. And if you donate, you may also be eligible to receive a special reward as a thank you from the Sociology Club. We will be collecting toys from now until December 4th at 2.30 p.m. Please bring all donations to Ms. Gilbert's room number 2210. Again, we will only be collecting new toys. Make sure to bring your new toys to support the community and help out the wonderful Sociology Club. The Leo Club is having a backpack drive to collect backpacks for kids in need of supplies and for the homeless. Mr. Smith can give us more information on the topic. Hello Noblesville, Mr. Smith here. I wanted to tell you about the Leo Club, how we gathered up over a hundred book bags to give to the homeless. That's given us a problem. We have to be able to fill those book bags with warm things for the homeless people to survive winter. And I'm sure you're going to say now, how can I help? Well, we need warm hats, scarves, gloves, um, things that the homeless people can use. You all have a tub at home of gloves, hats, scarves that just aren't cool enough for you to wear anymore since you're in high school. Uh, go to that tub and grab the things that you no longer love or need. Bring those things in a Walmart bag, throw them in the tub outside Mr. Smith's classroom or the one in the cafeteria. Um, and we have to have those things really soon. So I would appreciate your help. Have a good day, Millers. Let's keep up the good work and collect NHS. All IAL seniors, listen up. The second IAL deadline is Friday, November 22nd. By 11.59 p.m. on the 22nd, you must have a total of six points. The six points include the three you earned for the first deadline of this semester as well. Please complete this work to avoid loss of privilege. Now on to Trending Today. Welcome to Trending Today. A very special pup in Missouri named Narwhal has an extra tail coming out of its head. There is no reason to have the tail removed because they have found no bones in the tail. Narwhal is in the care of Rochelle Steffen, the founder of Max Mission Rescue in Jackson. It is a great, he is in great care and this is definitely one of a kind pup. Now over to Hannah with meetings. There will be a call-out meeting for the Academic Super Bowl on Friday at 2.30 in room 2079. This competition is made up of five subject matter teams. English, Science, Social Studies, Mathematics, and Fine Arts. And a six interdisciplinary team in which questions may come from any subject. The theme for this year is Roaring Twenties. For a pass, see Mr. Delasky, Mr. Swart, Ms. Hahn, Mrs. Pingator or Mrs. Sturgill. All seniors, there is a mandatory meeting regarding cap and gown information today during AL. If you have IAL during this time, you must plan on staying to attend this meeting. Listen up, all you good humans. The Best Studies Club will be having a meeting in the main gym on November 26th. You must have your bestbuddiesonline.org application completed prior to the meeting. There will, be, there will also be a Culver's Night on the 26th 
from 5 to 8 and a portion of the proceeds will go to Best Buddies Group. So uh, I never realized how green our tree was. I think it's really starting to grow. This is pretty green too. We have green thumbs now. I suppose. I guess we shall toss it on over to sports. Once we're born, are we living or dying? That's a tough question, I think. Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter what your answer is. Um, so let's get in sports. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Did you know that this Thursday, your boys' basketball team has its first scrimmage versus North Central at 630? Then this Friday, girls' varsity basketball plays versus Brownsburg at 730 at home. Finally, on Saturday, your Miller wrestling team will travel to face Hamilton Heights at 9 a.m. And later, your girls' basketball team will travel to Homestead and play at 630. Good luck, Millers. Thank you, Garage. I'm Mary Strabus, and I think Patrick Mahomes sounds like Kermit the Frog. The Colts decided to play ball this Sunday, beating the Jags at home. Mini Mike Vick, Lamar Jackson, pulled the team takeover and led the Ravens to a blowout win over Houston. And we got a Super Bowl 52 rematch between the Eagles and the Patriots. Julian Edelman sealed the game by throwing a touchdown pass and put the pads up 17 to 10. Now over to Google with meetings. The Boys and Girls Rugby Callout Meeting will be on November 25th at 7 p.m. in the NHS cafeteria. Why is it called the building when it's already built? Why doesn't glue stick to its own bottle? Why don't you click on this link to get the answers to our wacky questions? 